Hi guys, we are now going to be looking at part three of the Canon T6i set into M mode on the dial and the menu settings. So we've got a lot to go over today in this video. And we will start with the first yellow wrench. Um, you can select folders and create folders to put your images in if you feel the need to. Again, this is going to be most effective to you if you don't do your own editing or have a place to back up. You just have the SD cards, no external hard drive where you can build your own folder system. I find that uh, this is something that I don't need, but maybe people out there do. File numbering, I have it as continuous. Um, so it will continuous add a new number to it. It's not gonna reset at certain numbers, but you do have the option to auto reset, manual reset. I just leave it at continuous. Auto rotate, um, again, I just leave it on here. Format card, if you wanna format your card, you can do so, or do a low level format. Again, remember, your touch screen does work if you feel the need to use it. Wi-Fi settings is the next one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click enabled, okay. So this is the first time I'm setting up the Wi-Fi settings. Well, it's not actually the first time, but I've kind of uh, reset them so that you guys can see me set it up real quick. And what I can do is set up a nickname, which we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna call it MU Media Unlocked. And we'll hit Menu to accept that. Now the Wi-Fi settings are set up, so we can go to the Wi-Fi function. Uh, you can transfer images between cameras. If you want, you can connect to a smartphone. Again, if you need, you'll have to set up the access point and everything up, uh, infrastructure mode, but uh, so you will need a, you would need, and you can do a manual connection if you want and set all that up and then you would put that information in. Uh, again, I'm not connecting to a tablet today, so we're not gonna go over that. Uh, again, if you guys find this to be confusing, um, this is pretty easy for me. I know how to, how to do it, so um, I don't have any issues and you gotta put your password in, which what we need to do is back back out of here. And we'll hit cancel, and we'll hit cancel, and then we'll hit info to cancel again, and cancel on out. So if that, if you guys find this to be confusing, uh, and I find enough people commenting that they want to learn how to, how to do the Wi-Fi setting up the tablet a little more in depth, I'll make a separate video, and if I do happen to make that video, I'll pop a link up right here. You can connect to a printer. You can also upload to web services. Um, again, you have to go through and add some settings in. And then if you wanna to connect to the internet, we'll click in here and uh, we'll find a network, okay. Uh, and um, then this is the network here at the house. I could click this, okay. And then I would type in the password to the network. Um, again, I'm not gonna do that. I don't have the password in front of me at the moment. I should have put that in front of me and done it, but I could put that Wi-Fi uh, password in and then connect in through um, my laptop and stuff like that, or a tablet, so you could do it that way as well. So we're gonna do is gonna hit in, in, info to cancel. We're gonna down here, cancel, back down here, cancel again, cancel again, and we're gonna come out, hit menu, go back out, and we're gonna disable Wi-Fi we really don't need that. So if you guys want a more in-depth video on Wi-Fi, I'd be more than happy to make one. I just got enough of you. It's a little, it can be a little confusing if you don't know what you're doing. I could understand that, but it's very time consuming to go over it. So if there's enough of you that are interested in it, I'd be more than happy to teach you. All right, so auto power off after 30 seconds. You can change that if you want or disable it altogether. I keep it at 30 seconds for now. Uh, LCD brightness, again, the brighter your LCD is, the more battery you're gonna run through. So I keep it right in the middle. My eyes are adjusted to it, I'm used to it, so I'm fine with that. Uh, shutter button, shutter display remains on. I just leave it under shutter button. That kind of brings it back to life. Date and time, 517, you know, so you can set your date and time. You can set your, your uh, language, which you have many to pick from. Viewfinder display, GPS device settings. Uh, this menu cannot be displayed. GPS unit is not connected. So if you have a GPS uh, item connected to it, then you have that option to the next one. Screen color. A lot of people ask me how you change this. You gotta be in manual mode uh, and you can go through and change your screen color. Uh, so I can do that and then I could just hit my shutter, bring it back out and I change the screen color. Again, for this video, I find it the easiest for you guys to see it when it's like this. Feature guide. Uh, you can turn that on and off. That's like a help menu. Um, I have it enabled just 
just so you guys can see how it works. Uh, it will give you information. Uh, again, kind of like if we go from here to here, it's going to give you this little bit of information. If you don't know what that means or what it does, it's going to help you out. Touch control, standard, sensitive, disabled. So if I want to disable it, now I have no control over the touch of the back of the camera. Oh my God. Oh, wait a minute. Now I do. And I can control it once again. Uh, battery info, uh, how much battery you've got, remaining, charge performance, stuff like that. Uh, let me see if there's a menu op or an info option in that that you can hit and get more information. No. Sensor cleaning, uh, clean manually. So you can set, so if you want to clean your sensor manually, you would hit this, it would open up uh, your sensor and you could go in and clean it. Uh, again, I highly suggest you just send it in and pay the 50 or $75 to a company if your sensor really needs cleaning because they're going to do a much better job and they're going to be in a room that's going to be dust free. Clean room is what they call it. Um, clean now and you can just do uh, auto cleaning after you turn off your thing or your camera. If you notice a lot of times when you turn your camera off, it's going to do a sensor cleaning. It will automatically try to clean that sensor for you. All right, so back to menu. Video system, NTCS or PAL. I leave it at NTCS. And our last little functionality here. Certification logo, boom, you can see it. It's awesome. Custom functions, we're gonna come back to that here in a second. Copyright information. You can add in your own copyright information if you feel the need to. Clear settings, you can clear all your settings and then this is your firmware version and this is where you would go in. If you need to update your firmware, you would put you would download your .fir firmware from Canon. You would put it on your SD card, make sure you have a full battery um, and uh, then you would click OK because it would, it would be able to see the firmware on the SD card and you could update your firmware. Very simple. Again, you would download it from Canon. Take that download file, uh, uh, unzip it, put that file inside the, the folder onto the SD card. This would be an uh, FIR, I believe it's FIR.FIR file. Put the SD card into your camera. Go to, go to the fourth wrench, go down to firmware, click OK, click OK, click OK, boom, it will, it will install the new firmware. So back to custom functions. So this is where you're gonna have control over some very specific functions on your camera. So again, it's got your your functions and underneath here it tells you what it's doing so your exposure level increments one half stops or one third stops i always want more stops so i do it in one third stops iso expansion i do not use uh you can turn the iso expansion off or on so let me show you what that means we're going to turn the iso expansion on we're going to hit menu we're going to go back to your iso max and well, I don't I guess you can't max it out, but it will go to uh, 12,800 with the ISO expansion on. I thought it would allow you to see that here, but you can't. Um, so if you want to max out your ISO, you can do that. I don't need to go to 12,800 ever on this camera. There's just, there's absolutely no reason to do so. So again, I'll hit set and turn that back off. Highlight tone priority. I have that disabled. Again, that's another one of those things you can do the editing in the camera, so I'm not really worried about it. AF assistant beam firing, I have that uh, enabled. You can disable it, enable external flash only or IR AF assistant beam only. AF area selection method. Uh, I just have it set to the area selection button. You can do the main dial. If you need to change that, you have that option. Auto AF point select color tracking. One shot AF only. Um, I'm going to leave it where it's at for that. AF point display during focus. Uh, constant AF, and you have a couple of different ones. Again, I just have selected, I just have it set to constant. VA or VF display illumination. I set that to auto. You can disable it or enable it if you feel the need to. Mirror lockup. I have that disabled. Um, if you need to lock your mirror, you can enable that. Shutter AE lock button. Um, you can pick what you want to do, how you want to select your lock button. Assign set button. Image quality, flash exposure, LCD. Um, again, I just have it set to normal, disabled. My set button's here. LCD display when power on. Again, it shows you that, but you can 
you can you can turn that to previous display status and then retract lens on power off uh, again i've got that enabled um, i'm guessing that's for stm lenses as the lens is not going to retract on the uh, non-motorized lenses so that is that on the custom functions. Again, if you got any questions on those, uh, I'm not going to dive into the uh, in depth. A lot of that stuff, if you don't know what that does, uh, that's what Google's for. Just jump on Google, type it in. It will explain it to you. And if that doesn't still doesn't make sense, um, feel free to message or leave a comment, and I'll do my best to answer your question. So we're on to our last tab my menu settings, and you can go in and register your menu, short, delete items, delete all items, display from menu. So you can set up different settings and how you want your menu system to look. I would leave it alone unless you have a very specific reason to. Um, I have some preset uh, color temperature set up on my 60 that I use, so I have those, those preset on here. Um, it's the same thing, it gives you a little more in-depth uh, stuff when you have a full-frame camera like the 60 because you can control your exact Kelvin temperature. Um, where here you can't, you have to kind of set a pre-made custom white balance, which I kind of talked a little bit about earlier. So this is the end of the Canon T6i menu system. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the video system in part four. And uh, hopefully these two videos have really, uh, these, thir these three videos so far have really helped you out. Again, once part four is out, there'll be a link up next to it so you can click and watch the video section of the uh, how to use your Tannen T6i or 750D video. Have a great day, guys. Again, there's a link down below, and there'll be a link right after this to go check this out on BNH and purchase it. If you do feel the need to buy one of these, through, buying it through BNH and through my link would help me immensely um, just because that's what keeps this channel going. Thank you for your guys' time. Have a great day. Hey guys, if you'd like to check out our website where we have all kinds of fun and exciting blogs, videos, and extra information that isn't on our YouTube page, click right here. If you'd like to talk to us or contact us and kind of take a look at all the different stuff that we have going on, um, we've kind of funneled it all through our Facebook. You can hit our Facebook page right here and follow us or like us. Now, if you like to look at cool pictures and behind the scenes stuff, we do that on Instagram right here. So go on and follow us on Instagram. And of course, we've got our cute little bird right here, Mr. Twitter, and you can follow us as we do our short tweets.